you didn't support it, like you said, two years ago. And you said that you had the same sentiment. You said that you support their right to self-determination. But essentially, this isn't the United States' fight to fight. And you posted this on X within the past few days. Why America should seek peaceful resolution in Ukraine rather than an expansion of the war. So how do they do that without foreign aid help? Well, look, they do need foreign aid. And, and part of the lifeline that they've uh, been able to establish is because they got foreign aid. But when they don't have a blank check, they do start to confront, well, okay, what really are our options? And they did that early on, you know, by, by the first summer of 2022, they were confronting that reality. And unfortunately, the Biden administration scuttled that. Um, and the part that the Biden administration won't level with the American people on is Ukraine can't accomplish the mission of getting all the Russians out of Ukraine on their own. Frankly, they need ground combat power, they need air combat power, and they need sea power supplied by someone like the United States or NATO member countries. So the path that the Biden administration is holding out, and frankly, if Speaker Johnson puts it on the floor, the path he will be joining hands with them in is an expansion of the war. The only way you're going to get Russia out of Ukraine is an expansion of the war. Um, and, and they won't take off the table certain things that would help the diplomatic negotiations, like what is the role of Ukraine in NATO. And so as long as that's the case, there will be combat. And as long as there's combat, unless someone else joins the war, uh, in a long war, Russia has more combat power than Ukraine does. If there were conditions on this Ukraine aid, would you vote for it? Or can nothing change your mind? You're not supporting this legislation, just like you haven't in the past two years. Yeah, there's nothing that looks imminent that would support it. You know, we could, we could, uh, past conditions if it is subject to amendment that would make it a version that I would support. But then uh, from talking to my colleagues, most of them would no longer support it. They essentially want the expansion. They want the implied absolutist position that, you know, Western civilization hangs in the balance. Uh, Putin can't be allowed to prevail. Well, the only way that they're going to make sure that happens is to expand the war. They're just not leveling with the public on that. What do you think about that type of commentary? Western civilization hangs in the balance. Some have said if Ukraine does not receive any foreign aid, Russia steamrolls Ukraine, a World War III breaks out. What do you think of that? Well, I think it's a real possibility and I think it's unfortunate. Look, Ukraine is not a member of NATO and NATO member countries, in the, including the United States, are acting as if Ukraine is a member of NATO. And you've got NATO member countries, you know, the European Union, they have their own currency. They're not over there running their money printer <laughs> at the same rate the United States are. They're not even fully funding their own defense. I mean, the country of Germany has almost no debt. Uh, the United States has a debt to GDP ratio as high as we had at the end of World War II. And everyone in the world expects America to just poof the money into existence. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, the treasury market's not going well. The debt clock's running up at a trillion dollars extra debt per 100 days for the United States. And we passed an omnibus bill, the speaker's two-step omnibus bill, that has a $1.9 trillion deficit. Once this supplemental omnibus for Ukraine passes, uh, it'll essentially be $2 trillion. Uh, um, it's like 1.9 trillion, it's not quite enough debt. We should add 2 trillion. This is a terrible plan. Bankrupt countries are hard to defend. And the, the other thing that's important about this plan is it does nothing to secure America's borders. You know, border security is, a, uh, is national security. When I go back home, my folks in my district want us to defend our country first. And they're sympathetic to our friends and allies like Israel and, and, and uh, Ukraine. And frankly, all through the Pacific region, there's broad support for our allies. But the idea that America is supposed to fund all the wars and fight all the wars uh, is, is not a popular position.